Welcome, folks, one and all, to a game originally released in 1991 by Apogee Software, with this version being released in 2020 for the PC. Developed by Emberheart Games and published by Apogee Entertainment, let's play Crystal Caves HD, featuring Milo Steamwitz. This is an enhanced version of the game with HD resolutions, enhanced graphics and color palette, and music. And not only that, it also has a fourth episode. This follows the adventures of Milo Steamwitz, who is trying to get rich very quick. And each chapter has his efforts play out before us as he risks life and limb for crystals that he's going to be using to get rich. One thing to note about this game is this is a game I have never played before. I didn't play many of the Apogee shareware games in my youth, and this is one of them. So kindly avoid posting spoilers in the comments because I don't want to be spoiled on any of the super secret super awesome stuff, and I'm sure people that have never seen Crystal Caves before also don't want things spoiling. We're currently cycling between the uh, credits and the title screen, and if we press a button, we get classic Apogee sounds as we get the menu. Now, we can start a new game, we can restore a game, there is user content, there's also the Steam Workshop, for people can make levels with the in-game level editor. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be diving right in to the game itself, with a new game. There are four episodes three in the original game, and the bonus fourth. We're going to be starting with the trouble with Twibbles. As you can see, that's a slight play on words. I wonder if you can guess what. Let's go! Easy, normal, or hard? You know what? Easy has extra hard of health, lower enemy health, and half score. Hard has more score, less ammo, and less health. You know what? I think I'm going to play on normal, get that original experience, and probably get my posterior handed to me. Let's go! And get plot! Ship's log, stardate 212104, personal entry, record on. I've decided to fly into the Altarian star system against my better judgement. The perilous caves of Altair are my best hope of getting enough cash for a down payment on a Twibble farm. What are Twibbles? With those furry Twibbles now the rage of the galaxy, I need to get in now before the fad fades. Twibbles might be the biggest fad since Pet Mood Slime. I think you're probably already too late, but I can't stop you. I just hope I can make it to Altair. The Kiwi is 11 light years past its last oil change, and the holographic steering assembly seems to be acting up. I better steer clear of anything big. That's probably the name of your ship. Personal entry, record off. Let's see how good you are at flying. Oh. Uh, not that... good? Uh-oh! The steering system is failing again! Whoa! Where'd that come from? It's a planet, Milo. Where do you think it came from? Whew! Made it! Now I need to collect enough crystals to trade at the Galactic Trading Post. And here we are with the game itself. You can move left. You can move right. You can, I believe, probably jump with control. Yep, jump with control and fire with alt. Also, Milo's looking at the screen right now going, um, Kiko, I need to go and make loads of money right now. Also, nice little touch, the planet that we collided with is right above us in the sky. Imagine playing this game back in the uh, 90s and there was no music. The music here is really good. And you can, of course, turn the music off if you uh, don't want it there. Right, let's go into the mine. That's not good at all. I, I don't like the idea of a volcano there. Right. Danger? Aha! <laughs> Milo laughs in the face of danger, mainly because if he doesn't, he won't get rich. So, let's pick a level. And here we are in one of the caves. Now, there's an air thing there. There's also a thing for ooh, ammo. Right, that enemy is going to hurt. We also have a hundred dollars worth of crystals. Now, if I shoot you, 
to wait for you to face me. Oh, that's more money. Oh, probably want that. I don't know what I want or what I don't. Oh, I, I most likely wanted that. Oh, yeah, I, I wanted that. A little too late, though. Right, let's shoot you. Yep, that's a, uh... A rocket. There we go. We get points for that. And we want one. Also, ooh, that is a uh, bonus gem. Excellent. We want bonus gems. And we want that as well. That's the exit. I don't want to go to the exit right now. I just want to keep exploring. I want to explore as much as I can, get all these uh, super invisible shadow gems. Nothing there, nothing there. Right. Probably missed something, but that's all right. I imagine that switch is something I'm going to want to press so that I can get up there. Use the fire key to activate the switch. Nice! And the switch is activated. Now, can I go... Ooh, I can. Oh, oh, that hurts me. Okay, you can't jump on those. You can't jump on those. Good to know. Good to know. Can't jump on the. Oh, oh, I want. Oh, did I really get? I got that automatically by uh, just uh, knocking it uh, there. You don't actually have to do anything else. That doesn't hurt you. Good. Right, I'm gonna want to go up here, aren't I? And there are green thingamies that are going to hurt. Let's see that. Uh, if I use this did something? I wonder what that did. Either way, I really want to get over there, because I see loads of goodies there. We're probably going to get shot at, though, by that zappy thing there, so let's be very careful. No? No, maybe I turn that off. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna need a key for that. I don't have a key for that. Oh! Okay, those are enemies. And I can't really get them with that. Okay, what does this do? Your pistol can kill any enemy for a limited time. Good! That's what I need. That power-up is good. We will open that door. This uh, level's doing a pretty good job of teaching me things. Hopefully I get some health soon, because I really need that. I can destroy you, and you. Excellent. Right, let's time this. Carefully. Get the candle. Don't know why the candle is worth so much money, but it is. Get all of these. All of them, and then use this to open up the uh, place here. And we can jump up here. Marvelous. And that's good, because I don't want to get hit by that. I only have one health. And I imagine getting zero health will kill me. I need to shoot that, don't I? Probably need to shoot that. Maybe? That was one hit. Also, this gun that Milo has fires rockets. Hmm, doesn't seem to be doing anything. I might have to time my jumps over it. The last crystal is collected. You may leave this le- Oh. I need to... I bet you have to collect fruit to, uh... Regain health. Probably do. Right. Over here we go. And... I believe the border being green means I have all the crystals? I don't know, I've only just noticed that. First steps, achievement earned. And we have indeed earned an achievement. And very much like, um... Commander Keen, you walk out of the little exit door, but there isn't a giant done. Ah, there's only a tick mark. Can we get all of our health back? That's good. So I think I've now got the hang of this. This is when I don't have the hang of this. Let's go into this level. And be very... Oh! That's a... Oh! 
Hello, you. You're quite fast. Oh! Yeah, that's a spike. Let's jump. Oh. I don't know how that creature works, but I'm not a fan of it. Not a fan of it at all. Let's go this way. Get some more ammo. I like that there's an air thing. Can't do anything there right now. Could go up and take you on. I could. I probably should. Danger? I, I think Milo knows that there's danger. Oh my, does Milo know there's danger? There are all kinds of creatures here. Let's see how many rockets it takes to take you out, sir. Oh, you get mad. I wonder if I actually can take you on like that. Either way. Ooh. Get rid of you. You're a problem. Right, let's just jump over. Ah, oh, I wanted to get that. I'll never know what they are. Okay, I can destroy those. Good. Some things I can't destroy without a more powerful gun. So I totally want that. Oh, and I've got to wait for the lift. Darn it. There's no crouching for you, Milo. Or sitting and waiting. He's too keen to become rich. Yep, yeah, I know, Milo. I know, I'm moving. So far, I'm really enjoying this. It's definitely got that, uh... Darn it. It's got that Apogee, uh... Platformer feel. Makes sense with it being an Apogee platformer, but you know what I mean. The music really adds to it, I think. Okay, we'll get that too. And... No full damage, which is good. I imagine there's going to be, a. Uh, Pools of perilous liquid that are going to kill us, though. Right, let's... Grab all of that. Jump up to here. And one rocket! Oh, they speed... Oh! Okay, they... S Hello, Snake! How are you? Did I... Hello, I'm a snake. We're gonna get a rocket. Ooh. Oh, touching it hurts you. Okay. Touching it hurts you. Good to know. Watch me now perish. I've missed the switch, haven't I? I've missed... There's a switch up there. There's a switch up there that I need to get. Okay, let's go get that. Also, there are some tools there. A... Matok and a shovel. Let's go that way. And avoid the spike. This is a very well built up mine. You've got to wonder why they abandoned it. I presume this mine, is, mine uh, was abandoned. Let's grab these things. Oh yeah, that, that the screen going green means that you have collected everything. That's what that means. Do that. And now go this way and avoid the giant green monster that's going to try and kill me. That probably has a name, I just don't know it. One more jump that I need to worry about. And there we go! Level cleared. Also, I like the, uh, you may have noticed it, there's a subtle effect of the screen kind of fading in when uh, you finish a level or some such. That that is very reminiscent of when you turned on a CRT and the light slowly decreased in intensity. Very nostalgic feeling. Right, let's go into here. Ooh. Keys. I'm gonna want a key. I'm also gonna want all this. Oh! All of this ammo. So they will activate regardless of where you are in terms of height. Oh, you fall asleep after a while. Okay. I'm not sure shooting you does anything. But eventually you get tired. Can I jump over you? Oh, you fire at me! Okay, that is... 
bad. Not a fan of being fired at. I feel like that's a problem. Let's shoot it. Nothing happens when you shoot it. I... Oh, that, okay, that does, that just does that. Okay, that, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. That is fire. Fire is generally bad, because we are not made of fire-resistant material. Right, let's, uh... Imagine some of these rocks are going to be... Okay, that's the exit. I want not to uh, go in there yet, because we haven't grabbed all of the crystals. We need to get more crystals. We need more money. How are we going to start that twibble farm if we don't get all the money? Ooh, a key. Ah, now we can just open all of this up for treasure. And I really do want to open all this up for treasure. Right, let's... Have I opened that? I have now! Oh! That there is... Okay, what does this do? It's just points. Okay. I wonder if there is a way to uh, restore your... hearts. Okay, gotta avoid that. Grab treasure. Those uh, bits of rock in the ceiling are probably gonna hurt me a lot, so I'm not gonna touch them. Okay, let's go into here. Get all the treasure. Oh, all that treasure. Milo, you are going to be very rich. At least that's my hope. I wonder if you can walk past it when it is asleep. You probably can. I'm going to test it. Well, it fired at me, which is unfortunate. I get the feeling we might end up perishing. I mean, I have a lot of shots. I should see how many shots it takes to uh, defeat this enemy. Okay, it's only vulnerable when it's sleeping. Okay, you can destroy it. That's good to know. You can destroy that enemy. In fact, you could probably destroy every enemy with enough shots. I just haven't been firing enough shots. Little bits of learning, and uh, I haven't needed a tutorial to do it, which is neat. Also, can I... No, not while you're not out. Okay, what is down here that makes exploring it dangerous? Nothing, apparently. Everything's fine, except for all the peril. Nothing here in the, uh, walls? No? Just need to make our way back up. And we still haven't got... Oh yeah, we haven't got every single gem because... There are some here. And then once I've got those, I'll be done. Yay! We haven't even died yet! I imagine we will at some point. I imagine the game is set up so that you have uh, unlimited tries, but only one life in each uh, attempt. There we go! And out we go! Excellent. So there's no live system that I can see here. I imagine back in uh, 1991, the original version of the... Ooh, there are a lot of levels. There are a lot of levels in Episode 1. Loads of them. Now I'm curious, that has a, um, a pulse-like um, wave going through it, and the one going up and down has a different one. I wonder if that's consistent. It probably is, and I've only just noticed now lots of nice little details that are making this game even better than I thought it would be. Don't look at me like that, Milo. I thought this game was going to be awesome. I mean, it's managed to remain in the uh, hearts and minds of people since 1991. Not many games can do that, but how awesome this game is, is something I will determine as we press forward into it. And so, when we come back, folks, we'll do more levels, we'll get even more riches, and then, hopefully, Milo will start that Twibble Farm, 
and then he will become rich beyond his wildest dreams. Wait a minute, there are some more episodes. Why do I get the feeling it's not going to work out? Hmm, God hunch. There might be a little more to his adventure. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.